Hello, our people. Welcome to Veterans Day Silhouettes. So I'm going to make a silhouette. So here's some different Paul Revere silhouettes we could do. But we don't have to be so literal with it. Um, we can do a different type of silhouette with the chalk pastel background. So without further ado, let's get into our project. You can definitely make more than one stencil. I will show you how to draw a star in case you wanted a star stencil for your artwork. So for a star, you just go up, down, up and across, straight across, and then you just connect the two lines. Well, it's one line. You connect the two ends of the lines and you go back down. So we'll cut that out in a second and that will be a nice star stencil for us. And then I am actually going to make a stencil as well for Paul Revere and his ride. Um, so a horse and Paul Revere himself on the horse. Now, if that's a little bit too tricky for you, you can just do stars um, or pick something else that's a little easier to do as long as we are celebrating veterans um, and it can be Paul Revere specifically that you're celebrating, but you could do all stars if you wanted even. All right, so here goes my tutorial for the horse with Paul Revere on top. If you wanna follow along, you are welcome to. Okay, so first I'm just simply going to draw grass. So just kind of a zigzag line. I'm not gonna cut right on these lines when I cut this out, but this is just to remind me when I go to cut to kind of do like zigzag lines because we're gonna cut our stencils out and use them for our artwork. Okay, so zigzag line just to remember to do that for grass. Now comes the horse. So first I'm just gonna draw the basic shapes of a horse. So for instance, I'm just going to do an oval This is just for the body of the horse. And then I'm just going to draw a simple trapezoid for the neck of the horse. And then of course the horse itself, it's gonna be like an oval, but gets a little bit smaller towards the nose like that. And then I'll give my horse an ear. And now I'm going to draw the legs of my horse. So I'm going to have one leg that goes out and then maybe back in. And then to turn this line into a shape, I just have to draw the same two lines just a little further away. Back in. And then I'm going to draw another leg that's going out. So going out. Like so. So this will be good for the beginning of that. And now I'm going to do the back leg. So I'm just going to do line going down and line going down for the first back leg. And then line going back and a line going back for the other leg. And then just kind of shape up the bottom a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to draw my tail. So I'm just gonna go up and down and maybe swoop back up. And go up and kinda swoop like that. That'll be a good tail. And I can always edit it when I actually cut it out too. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw Paul Revere on the top of my horse. So I'm just gonna start with his body. I'm going to draw um, just a rectangle type shape. I think you'd be like there. And then I'm just going to draw kind of a oval for where his head would be. And I'm going to give him a hat. I'm going to draw a trapezoid kind of shape for the brim of the hat. So a little diagonal line and then across and then back up. And then I guess we can complete the trapezoid. So that's the brim of the hat. 
like the part that shades his eyes from the sun, <laughs> even though this is a midnight ride. And I'm just going to do a rectangle on top of that. Or that. Okay, so now I just need his arms. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle like this. And like this. Okay, so there's my silhouette. And I can, I think that's good. I think that's nice and simple and will be easy to cut out because next, once you are done drawing your stencils, we are going to cut them out. I like to call it where I'm just, just cutting the picture out, not necessarily right on the lines, but just so there's not all this extra paper around it because all the extra can kind of get in the way a little bit. Now I can go ahead and do my stencils. So I'm just going to do, like I said before, I'm not necessarily cutting right on the lines for my grass. All right, I'm going to go ahead and speed up this part of the video because I'm just cutting this out. Okay, so as far as cutting inside the shapes, um, what I like to do is just hold it where there's like an opening in here. This would be the negative space. So it's the space that's around our subject is called the negative space. So sometimes the negative space is surrounded by all the positive space, all the subject. So it's hard to get to it. So I just like to fold it in half. And then I just cut like that. And then when I open it, there's a hole. So now I can put my scissors in there and cut out the rest of the negative space. That was kind of hard to get to. All right, and then I'm going to cut out the star. Okay, so there we go. We have now made our stencils. So the next thing you're going to do is get out a piece of a construction paper. Black construction paper would look really, really, really cool. Okay, so I'm going to use blue paper um, because I don't have any black paper at my house and I think blue will still look nice and midnighty. So we are gonna use chalk pastel. So we need to put something down on our tables to keep our tables from getting all messy with our chalk pastels. Um, chalk pastels I have found actually stain your clothes. So if you have a jacket on, you might wanna take that off push up sleeves if you're wearing long sleeves, put on an apron, all the things, and then just generally be careful. It will of course come off of your fingers, but it doesn't really like to come out of clothes. Okay, so we've got our construction paper and our stencils, and we now need to go ahead and write our name on the bottom right corner of our artwork. and our class, which is three, because you're in third grade, and the first letter of your teacher's last name. All right, and we also need chalk pastel. So since we're doing a patriotic lesson, um, and it's an American patriotic lesson, we're going to do the colors of our flag. So you really only need red, white, and blue. If you want to get black out, you can, that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So what you do 
is you just put your stencil on your paper and you try to hold it still. Um, and like I said, you can use any of the um, American colors here that you want. I think I will use black. <laughs> and you just kind of go on the side, works really nicely, instead of going up like this. If you put it on the side, that works nice. And you're just going to start towards the middle and go out. So just gently putting down like so. And you're just going to go all the way around. And then you're going to keep holding it still and you're going to use a finger. So you're not going to use your whole hand. Remember, we're going to just try to stay sort of clean, a little bit clean anyway. And you just start towards the middle, just like you do with your chalk pastel. But now you're going to do it with your finger. All right, and now the moment of truth. You can lift your stencil up and ta-da! So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one now. Now you wanna be careful not to have your hand resting on this while you work on it. You just turn your paper. And I think I'll have my star be white. I really like that. And then I am going to write Happy Veterans Day. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to place it here. That way I can rest my hand on it and I won't smudge my artwork underneath it. So I'm going to try to keep this paper towel really still. And when I move my hand to write, I just want to move it across like this. I don't want to move the whole pa uh, paper towel with me because then it will smudge my artwork underneath. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the rest of the video because it's just me finishing up my artwork. You guys are welcome to add any sort of patriotic details that you want, of course. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.